Hello everybody and welcome back to Skip Allen Paints and the YouTube channel of Skip Allen. This is the third video in a series of videos about how to set up your own screen controls, your Wacom on screen controls, uh, to use with multiple applications. Um, okay, so let's get right to it. I'm going to open up my uh, Wacom tablet properties and I'm going to be in on screen controls. All right, now what I'm going to do is basically the same thing I did to set up my settings, but I, for some reason I just couldn't see how that would work for multiple applications. And I think it was just that because it was grayed out here, it blocked me. But what we're going to do is we're going to do the same sort of thing. I'm going to initiate a new panel. You click that and you get a new panel. And so I'm going to call the new panel applications. And I'm going to set it up as a radial menu because that's the way I prefer to have them set up. And I want to display it at cursor. Okay. And then, you know, you can adjust the size of it to be bigger or larger or whatever, but this size is pretty good for me. And I'm going to say, okay. All right. So now what I have is an applications folder. But there's nothing inside of the application folder except change settings. Now, change settings, all that little thing is, you just come down here and click on change settings. All that does is open up the Wacom panel. OK, um, and, and I don't really need that. Now, here's the beauty. See, under applications, what I want to put up here at the first is my settings. But before I put it there, I'm going to change my settings, uh, change the name of it. I'm going to go to click on my settings and we have an edit button here and I'll click on edit and I'll change it to painter and say, okay. And I just noticed I have it up to the highest size. So I'm going to say, okay. And I'm going to go back up to applications and edit that and put it to the highest side since that's what I've been doing before. Okay. Now that I'm in applications, I can click on this down arrow and I can go to on screen controls and I can find painter and I can click it right there. All right. Now I'm going to go up here, uh, come back over to here and create a new panel. And I'm going to call the new panel Photoshop. Make it big and say, OK. And I'm going to make another new panel that I'm going to call Lightroom. And we'll also make it big and go to there. I hope I did that. Oh, I forgot to display it cursor. I want to always say display it cursor. So let's go back to Photoshop, edit, display it cursor. And I also had the layout here when I really want it to be radial. So I have to pay attention to what I'm doing. Okay. Now that I've got that, if I go back to applications, I can click here and say on screen controls and I can pick up Photoshop. Click here and click on on-screen controls and pick up in Lightroom. Okay. Now that I've done that, I can actually click on Photoshop. And remember we said that the app shortcut, well, the brush tools and Photoshop colors and Photoshop drawings, those are commands that really work inside of Photoshop. I'm pretty sure I hadn't really checked, but I think so. So I can go here and say on screen controls and we'll add the brush tools and I can go here and on screen controls and we can add Photoshop colorist, go here on screen controls and we can add Photoshop drawing. Okay. That's basically how this goes. So let's just take a look at what we've done. I'll move this over to the side and when I click on my, uh, radial menu, what opens up now is Painter, okay? And that's because I still have my art pen and my grip pen set up to open up my settings, or now it's called Painter. So that's not what I want. I'm going to go to the art pen, and I'm going to go here to Painter and go to on-screen controls and click on Application.
and I'll go to the grip pen and do the same thing. Click on unscreen con controls and go to application. Okay, now we go back to functions so that we can kind of see what we've been working with. Now when I click on this, what opens is my applications panel. And if I click here, I'm at Painter with all of the settings that I had previously set up. Okay, now if I go back to here and I click on Photoshop, then I've got brush tools and what popped up, this is kind of interesting, what popped up is this sort of scenario. And let me just get rid of that for a second. And we'll go up to brush tools and we'll edit and see it's set up to use this kind of format. I want to make it go to the radial menu, bring it up big, display it cursor, and then we'll go to Photoshop Colorist, and we'll do the same thing, make it on the cursor, just, I mean, make it on radial, display it cursor, and Photoshop Drawing, edit, radial menu, go there, display it cursor, and say OK. And now let's take a look at what we've got. Okay, so basically I could take eight of these panels and make eight different applications. Then when I go into the application, I would have eight more levels of controls. In this case, I've got brush tools. And so I have these brush tools that would pop up. Now, at the moment, if we go into Lightroom, you're not going to see anything in Lightroom except the one Wacom Tablet Properties, which was change settings, remember? So that was already set up in there. But what I would keep doing is I would keep adding panels and adding commands to the panel until I got my uh, applications all done. Now, all this does is it just gives you one more little point. You just have to click here to start the applications for Painter and, uh, you know, to, to get all of the commands for Painter. But what we have here is a radial menu or uh, on-screen control that is set up to use multiple applications. Now, I give you, I have another, um, I have a playlist on my YouTube um, channel and also a blog post about how I set all of this up, how I set Painter up. And I'll give you links to those in the paragraphs of these videos. But to find out exactly how to do all of this, uh, you can go to those previous videos. But to set up your own screens for multiple applications, this is the way to do it. I think it's really brilliant. Okay, hope that helps. Bye-bye.